Mr. Speaker, yesterday the NDP successfully pushed the Finance Committee to stop tax havens. The UK, the US and Australia all have published official estimates of how much these tax havens are costing us. But the Conservatives' position is to cover their eyes and pretend it isn't happening. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, could the Minister of National Revenue tell this House why she isn't interested in finding out just how much these tax revenues go missing? The Honourable Minister of National Revenue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're very interested in how much of this money goes missing, and that's why we aggressively pursue all information we receive. We take this issue very seriously, and it's why our government has increased the number of CRA experts on this file by roughly 40 per cent from the last year of the Liberal government. Since 2006, CRA has audited thousands of cases and identified more than 4.5 billion, billion in unpaid taxes through our efforts on aggressive international tax planning. This compared to just $174 million the last year the Liberals were in office. Member from Victoria. Mr. Speaker, they're quick to brag about money they've recovered, but they don't know how much money has gone missing. Hmm. Monsieur le Président, c'est bien possible. Mr. Speaker, it is possible to determine how much the, money the government loses to tax havens. Other countries have done so. So why won't the minister commit today? to finding out just how much the government loses in revenues and to solve this problem once and for all. The Honourable Minister of National Revenue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said, this is a serious issue, and under this government, we've taken a leadership role with our international partners. At the Finance Committee, when asked about the issue, former Secretary General of the OECD and Liberal Cabinet Minister Donald Johnson had this to say. The progress that has been made over the last five years in Canada has been remarkable. For Kate Breton,